mine, John 16, 15. Therefore said I that he shall take a mine and shall show it unto you. He's going to glorify himself on the inside of you. If you are allowing Jesus, if you are allowing the comforter, if you are allowing the spirit of God to be on the inside of you, tell me something. When do you have time to entertain circumstances? Jesus. Come on, Apostle. Help us this morning. When do you have time to entertain the mess? Yes, yes, yes. If Jesus has to set the comforter and the comforter is being glorified on the inside of you, if you are being so full up with the glory of God, when do you have time to entertain what somebody said about you? What somebody thought about you? Whether or not they approved of you? When do you have time to entertain the mess? The comforter is on the inside of you. He said in his word, I sent him that he may be glorified in you. So the glory of God is on the inside of you. You ain't got no business trying to worry about Shut up and shout, but you 
Jesus. Sometimes you got to be selfish with the things of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to be selfish with your glory. You got to be selfish with your glory. I can't get it for you. You got to get this for yourself. I can't give you what I don't got. I need you to hold me up when I'm about to fall. Don't expect for somebody to put the greater one on the inside of you. You got to get this on your own. I can't help you. Sometimes apostles won't be here to help you. The prophets won't be here to help you. The apostles won't be here to help you. You got to get this for yourself. I'm telling you, last Sunday that word changed my life. This is why we preach the way we preach. This is why we tell you guys the way we tell you because you've got to get this for yourself. You got to get it for yourself. You got to get it for yourself. I want to show you something. Two people. And we're going to go to John 5 first. You got to get it for yourself, men and women of God. Tell me in John 5, verse 3. It says, in those days, a great multitude of impotent folk were blind. They were halted. They had some type of a paralysis or whatever. He says that they were withered. Hands and feet were withered up on them. And they were waiting for the moving of the water. Yes. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Yes. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease they had. And there a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. When Jesus saw him there and knew that he had been now a long time in that situation, in that circumstance, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? Jesus. The impotent man answered him and said, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step it down before me. Jesus said unto him, simply said, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. See, this man was dependent on his circumstances. And because of his circumstance, because of his impotency, because he, some were withered and some were lame and some were blind and some of them were paralyzed, they can do anything for themselves. And they were looking for somebody to do something for them, to put them in the pool. But how many of you know only one person could really get in the pool? Because the angel only came and troubled that water for one person. But now I'm going to take you back to 1 John 4 and 4 again. We don't have to wait for the angels of the Lord to come and trouble the water for you. Because the greater one is on the inside of you. And so just like he said, sir, I've been living like this for 38 long years and I'm tired. But every time I try to even lift my way into the pool, somebody comes and run that may have a lesser disease or a lesser circumstance in me. With themselves and self haven't seen me at this pool for many, many, years and they gonna come and walk in front of me so jesus said take up thy bed get it rise it pull it up and walk here he is right now he said god i can't do this but the holy ghost said you don't have to because i will somebody with a lot of circumstance with a lesser situation than you are are going to become selfish and want who that has a greater issue, an issue that you've been suffering with for may not be 38, it can be 5, it can be 10, it can be 15, it can be 20, and they're going to try to come to you and get you to help them and if you don't help them with their own selfish self, what they're going to do is that they try and play on your feelings, play on your emotions and try and get you to help them and when you don't help them, move on out of my way. Jesus, Jesus. You can't tell me it never happened. Yes. 